Oh, hi, uh, it's me again, Nafid. In the previous tutorial, we have explained how to install Guacamole on Ubuntu server. Now, Guacamole by default will listen to HTTP port 8080. In this tutorial, I would like to explain how to simply install Nginx, use Subsign Certificate uh, to be able to reach uh, Guacamole on say HTTPS TCP port 443 or some other port that you have selected if you choose to do so. Uh, let's go and make a start. Now the first step we're going to do in any Ubuntu installation is to check the update. Now we're checking the update, you need to provide the password in this case. In this example, you can notice that there are no updates needed, after which we would like to install the Nginx itself. Now once you do that, the minus Y key is to say yes to the prompt. And once you install the Nginx, you're going to generate the self signed certificate after that. So with that said, we'll need to check the status of the Nginx first, make sure that it is enabled, and then check the status. So we enable the Nginx engine, and then we check the status of that Nginx. And you need to make sure before you proceed, um, that the Nginx itself, the status update or the status of the Nginx is active. Notice from our command, Nginx status is active. Now, once you do this, you will need to generate a self signed certificate, and that self signed certificate is going to be used to connect to the Nginx. Now, the certificate details, I provide just an example here. It's up to you, wherever you're located, obviously your certificate might be different. But again, I need to stress on the fact this is a self-signed certificate. We will not use it in production. So if we need to have any kind of a production server, if you like, you'll always have um, a, a certificate signed by a public CA. Now we've provided details of that certificate signing request and um, Ideally, obviously, that will be matching your company details. So, as you can. once that's done, basically, what you need to do is to configure Nginx web server to use the self signed certificate. So, you're gonna just start the file shown on the text. Once you're done, make sure that there's no space after the last curly bracket here. Very important. Now, in our case, what happened actually, I left the space, and in the next command, you're gonna see. There's an error generated uh, because of that. Now, here we will use OpenSSL um, to um, generate the private key, public key. And once that is done, we're going to link it um, to the um, to the SSL uh, self signed certificate uh, file that we have created earlier. And um, we can see clearly here there's, a, there's an error message. And the reason for that, our self signed certificate um, file contained um, or the instruction file contained spaces after the last curly brackets we fixed it now we can clearly see that you can use the https um, in our case and you don't have even to uh, the browser by default will go for the https now um, what we can do in this case uh, is simply speaking we can edit uh, the file uh, that we have instructed the Nginx to use uh, for the self signed certificate. Now, in that file, we inserted our IP address of the server, like in this case 192.168.1.200. That can be replaced by the fully qualified domain name. So, in our case, um, the DNS server, we have an entry and a record to our server that says guacamole.urbanetworks.com that's just an example if you choose which is a better practice so the server name that will listen to the port 443 as well as port 80 uh, we replace the IP addresses uh, with a fully qualified domain name guacamole.urbanetworks.com uh, now there's a better practice to do um, now if you basically uh, we need to check our DNS server, make sure that our DNS server also uh, has an A record in that. So here we are just checking the Nginx uh, status and making sure it is working for the sake of verification, making sure 
that everything is picked up. We're going to restart the Nginx service, as you can see. Now, this is the DNS server I was talking about. And this is just to confirm that the web browser, to be able to reach the fully qualified domain name, uh, we should have a valid DNS entry for our guacamole server. Now, once that is verified, you can go to web browser and rather than typing the IP address, you can type the fully qualified domain name for your web server. So in this case, it would be guacamole.ournetworks.com. This is part of our domain and we should be able to see the certificate here. So this is the one that we have generated. If you look at details of certificate, you can see the issuer is, this is my email address. And these are some details of certificate that we have provided when we requested a self signed certificate to be generated. Thank you so much for listening to us and we'll see you in future videos.